just how good are plant-based foods for your diet? As a child, our next guest says she was always sick, but as an adult, she has been able to heal her body through plant-based eating. Melissa Costello is a culinary nutritionist and a wellness coach. She's also the author of Karma Chow Ultimate Cookbook, 125 plus plant-based vegan recipes for a fit, happy, healthy you. Quite a title there, Melissa. <laughs> but a lot of recipes, yes. right? A lot of recipes, over 125, and most of them are fairly simple to make. Great. So what is a plant-based diet? Plant-based diet is mostly small amounts of animal products like meats and cheeses and things like that, and more vegetables, grains, whole seeds, nuts, things like that. All right. And uh, in the beginning of the segment, we mentioned as a child, you were always sick. Yes. You changed your eating. Tell us what happened. Yes. So as a child, I always had strep throat or I had allergies. Mm -hmm. I also had uh, migraine headaches and irritable bowel syndrome. And I realized that when I started to change my diet, my body started to heal. Uh, when I cut out sugar and I cut out white flour and, and animal products too, even dairy, I noticed that my body just really started to heal itself. And it, is it easy to eat like this? I think it is. I've been doing it for a really <laughs> long time. And, you know, the reason I wrote this cookbook is so that I could really bring this out into the world so that people can see it's delicious and easy. All right. Because um, sometimes when people say vegetarian, vegan, they cringe a little bit. Yes. They but there think are ways to make it... Uh... Delicious? Yes. Well, they think steamed vegetables. Right. They don't know any different. So that's that's another reason why this cookbook is so great because things are simple to make and they're really delicious. A lot okay. of my clients say they don't even miss the meat. Oh, that's great. Well, what are we making here today? So we're making a chickpea tuna today, which is basically the base is chickpeas instead of tuna. Okay. So it's kind of interesting that it will taste similar to tuna. So I basically have two cans of chickpeas mashed up here. You can mash it with a fork or put it in a food processor. Okay. And then we're going to add some freshly cut dill to that. Okay. And I have some capers. Melissa, would you say it's a little more expensive to eat this way? You know, it depends. I, I think that when people buy more of the processed foods, the vegan processed foods, it gets more expensive. Mm -hmm. But when you're buying just produce, you can actually save money. I shop a lot at farmer's markets, and mm -hmm. produce is actually fairly inexpensive. Great. So we have a little bit of red onion okay. chopped up. And I have some vegan mayonnaise. It's called Veganaise, and it's, <laughs> it's made without eggs. So we're going to put just about three tablespoons of that. Okay. A little bit of Dijon mustard. Whoops. Okay. Squeeze that in there. And then just a tiny bit of apple cider vinegar. This gives it a little bit of a punch. Okay. And then we'll stir it up, and that's basically it. It's really simple to make. This is my, one of my client's favorite dishes. Um, now, you would serve this over a bed of lettuce in a sandwich? Yes, you can either. serve it in a sandwich. I usually just do it over a bed of lettuce because it's really healthy and simple that way. It can get kind of messy if you do it in a sandwich. Got it. Um, tell us about some of the other recipes we'll find in the book. So I like to use uh, mostly gluten-free foods. I have a great baked ziti with cashew cheese. I don't uh, use any dairy. So I make my cheese out of cashews wow. and nutritional yeast. So it takes, tastes really good. I have burgers in there. I have things that- But not that, real burgers. They're- Not real burgers. <laughs> they're made with uh, beans and rice and vegetables. Okay. And you just grind them all up and shape them into patties and they're really delicious. And you can eat it just like a burger with pickles and a bun and all of that. I feel like it's come a long way. Right? Yes, it really has, and it's, it's becoming more mainstream now. Uh, I do live in California, so, you know, I'm a little bit in a bubble, and everyone eats really healthy there. Um, but it, it, it really is becoming more, people are becoming more aware of it and wanting to eat healthier. And the health benefits. Yes, there's so many great health benefits to so, it. So, uh, let me ask you, what would, you, what would be a, a dessert for you if you were going to cheat or something? Uh... Yeah. Well, I love chocolate, uh -huh. so I make raw chocolate truffles, Ooh. or I also have these delicious vegan chocolate chip cookies scented with cardamom, which is an Indian spice. Mm -hmm. uh, those are a favorite among many of my clients. Okay. Um, so yeah, I do, I do allow myself to have those special treats. So, Melissa, if someone was going to start a diet like this, you wouldn't yes. do it cold turkey. It would Absolutely be a gradual not. process, do you yes. recommend? I always say take baby steps. Mm -hmm. It's really important for people to educate themselves, to learn about, you know, different foods. Because what happens a lot of times when people go vegan or vegetarian, they start mm -hmm. to eat a lot of processed foods. Okay. Uh, and they become very unhealthy. So they'll eat things like pizza all the time or, you know, without the cheese. Um, or they'll just eat a lot of chips or things with high carbohydrates and not a lot of vegetables. Got it. So just starting with baby steps. Sounds great. And we're yeah. going to taste this at the end of the show. We'll have the recipe over on WTNH.com. Melissa, thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having me. All right. Coming up next, creating balance and finding happiness. Positive living, living expert Diane Lang joins me after the break. Don't go anywhere.